Gary here from the uh, EV Prize section of the 2011 Hunter Valley Electric Vehicle Festival and here we are at the wonderful Newcastle Kart Raceway. It's about a kilometre long circuit, it's got tight corners, it's got nice and steep hills, uh, professional timing circuit. It's all very set up for today's competition. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You got Cable it. ties and duct tape. Use there, here, here. there. there. You've got to have cable ties and duct tape. <laughs> The next thing that we're going to do though is to work into the dynamic testing and so that'll be some brake testing to make sure they brake properly and also some swerve testing to make sure that the car can actually swerve um, and control itself because it's actually quite a tight circuit so we're a little bit concerned that they won't make it around the circuit unless they're actually designed properly. I'm Tom Mihillis, I'm with the Rotary Club of Charlestown. Our club is assisting Gary and his team in providing marshals and uh, all the safety equipment and make sure that everything is run in a proper fashion. So we've deliberately set the rules as being $200 limit for the battery to make sure that the team could actually, all the teams could look at not just the different battery chemistries but also the economics of all the different battery chemistries. So we wanted to look out and see what was the best combination of them. That's, you know, was it best to go lead acid and there's different kinds of lead acid, there's flooded lead acid and there's gel cell and there's valve regulated, a bunch of different lead acid batteries and also the new ones, the lithium ion, to think about batteries and battery chemistries as well as motors and the different way that motors fit together and the dynamics of the vehicle and how well it performs because all of those things are important in actually winning the competition. Just having a bit of trouble up the hills, that's basically the only trouble. Uh, it's dropping to about 20 k's instead of sticking to about 25 I'd be happy. But we're getting there slowly and it's getting quicker. So I hope to be under two minutes very shortly. Our front wheel has our driving wheel, but our back wheel has all of the weight of the battery and the seats farther back. That could be our problem, but hopefully it doesn't come down to whether or not we need that traction. Well, I wanted a three wheel drive and- We put a little I... bit of thought into it, but we probably should have done a bit more before we started. I don't think anybody's gonna last an hour and a half. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go out on a limb there and say that nobody's batteries are gonna go an hour and a half, seeing as after eight laps we were about half charge and it started really depleting quick. I hope it wins. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into it, so I'd hate to see it bail out the first lap, so put it that way. Um, I hope so, I just gotta get it quick and I'll be fine. Need to hit two minutes. If you're behind for three consecutive laps, that means you're going too slow, we'll point at you and wave the blue flag. That means that you're now too slow and you've been ordered to leave the track. Ooh. If you speed back up, as soon as you get back in front of the green flag, your three laps start again, so that's okay. So you can only be behind the green flag for a maximum of three laps at any one go. After that, it means that the minimum time that you go around the circuit is two minutes and 10 seconds per lap. We've actually slowed it down slightly on the practice, just make it a little bit safer. Okay. Streamlining at the back, that bike is actually one lap up. It's doing very well. And the bike in the white here is actually now two laps down. These guys have been running at the average, above the average, now for 40 minutes um, on a single lithium polymer battery. It's fun why it lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Nanovolts just hit the wall in a serious way. They are, we're going really well. They got a lap up early in the process, but unfortunately threw a chain and then they were out. They got two laps down, they got the chain fixed. They went hard, they actually caught back up. They got a minute up again, but now I think their batteries are finally tanked. The chain popped off, which um, a couple of bikes got passed in, but I got back up um, and the battery went flat. At this rate, with nobody really slowing down, it could be, it could easily go two hours. Definitely beat the uh, eight to fifteen laps that I predict predicted earlier. 
three, two, one, green flag. Well done, left and high. Well done. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, two hours. Not bad. So we want to keep it around about 210, maybe a little bit, yeah, to low, maybe a little bit, so that's pretty good. Well, it was quite uncomfortable. I, I was ready to pull in before the battery died, but I, I thought I'd better give it the best effort I could. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was unbelievable. The amount of strength and determination was large. So it was just, just beautiful. We anticipated 30 to 45 minutes. That went well over two hours. That's just awesome. <laughs> This event has actually been initiated by the Tom Farrell Institute for the Environment at the University of Newcastle, but we've managed to deliver the event through a whole bunch of partnerships with organisations who threw in a whole bunch of uh, work for free, and that's really helped us get it over the line. First in the open division, that's Andy from Team Grimmore Palace. We're going to have uh, Professor Tim And let's thank our lucky stars that Lambton High actually stopped because otherwise this team would have gone forever. <laughs> and that's Belmont Christian College number one. Um, I'd like to thank Hunter Water for all the money that they gave us and also Lake Macquarie City Council. And um, to Rotary for organising the event. It's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> Um, well, the other bike was meant to win, so, um, anyway, that didn't work out as expected. He was drafting, well, he was drafting me the whole time, and I was being not very aero, and then at the end, this bike pulled through, so, yeah, happy with that, big surprise. Hugely surprised today by the performance, we, we actually thought that they would run somewhere between half an hour and about two hours at the extreme, and on all, you know, quite a lot of teams went right to the edge of the two hours and even just over two hours, so we're really excited by how well they went. Um, so our sums were about right, but they all the teams went really, really well and performed at the top end of that, which was fantastic. Something that probably did surprise us is how well uh, the Grimwall Pedalist team went. They actually had a lithium-ion battery, which we thought um, While well, the battery is fantastic, they're usually very expensive, so you can't actually get much battery for the, the same amount of money. Um, so, but they had a really well designed bike, it was really well, you know, low drag, uh, high pressure tyres, and ridden very conservatively by the rider. Um, and so they actually performed very, very well. We were very impressed by how that came. But this year, what we've actually done is run a pilot competition. We just wanted to see how it worked, we came up with a set of rules, we just wanted to see who would be attracted. Would it be an exciting event to have? I think we've convinced ourselves that it is a good thing. We've got schools that are involved. Um, now that you know, more people in the university have come to us and the TAFE have come to us and some of the businesses around town have come to us. Um, so I think there's a much deeper level of interest for next year. So we've done what we set out to achieve and that was to put a peg in the ground and say, let's start here. And we've started, we're gaining some interest. And I think we'll be back bigger and better than uh, next year. Our aim is to roll, especially the schools competition out, um, Hunter and then statewide for next year. Thank you.